Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you about turning left and then immediately turning right but having to merge across several lanes of traffic in order to get over to the right side. Had several comments from Smart Drivers and JM specifically who wanted me to make a video on this topic and show you how to do that make a left-hand turn, merge across several lanes of traffic because you have a right-hand turn coming up immediately. So we're here in Kelowna and we have the perfect uh, left-hand turn for you. There's no advanced green at this left-hand intersection and then you have to merge across three lanes of traffic to get over to the right side. So we're gonna show you how to do that. And the key to doing that is communicating with other traffic via your signal. And it's amazing what I tell students all the time. Signals are to tell other traffic that you wish to move over, not that you are moving over. And when you communicate effectively with other traffic, it's kind of amazing that they sort of help you out a little bit. So <laughs> we're gonna show you how to do that and effectively communicate with other traffic so that you can immediately get over to that right side so you can successfully make your right hand turn. Now I too had this question when I first took my driving instructor's course. The driving instructor asked me if I knew how to do that and I said no I didn't know how to do that. I told him point blank that I didn't know how to do it and I wanted him to show me how to do that. So I'm going to give you that information and show you how to do it safely, show you how to communicate with the traffic and show you how to do that effectively. So stick around. We'll be right back with that information. Hi there, Smart Drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about how to make a left-hand turn and then immediately make a right-hand turn, but you have to merge across two or three lanes of traffic. We have the perfect light here, the perfect intersection, because we're going to turn left. There's no advanced green at this intersection, and then we have to merge across three lanes of traffic. Now, what we're going to do is we get up to the intersection here. We're going to go on the gap, and at the apex of the turn, we're going to switch our right signal on. We have a huge gap here and actually we're we got caught out and we're stuck in the intersection. Shoulder check, it's yellow and we're going to clear the intersection. Immediately put your right signal on, leave your signal on and merge to the right. The vehicle behind me is also merging to the right and I you see the vehicle in front of me and that vehicle behind me just stayed back because I had my signal on the whole time and I put my signal on right here to merge, to turn right into this laneway, and we turn into the laneway, and the vehicle behind us was tailgating us a bit, but we were able to merge over to the right because we had our signal on and that other driver knew that we were moving over, so we communicated effectively with that driver, and that driver helped us out by staying back and allowing us to merge over to the right. Turning left at the complex intersection without an advanced green, and this is the second attempt at this, so we can show you how to do this again, and there's a fairly long line of cars in front of me at the intersection here, you can see in the dash cam, and you simply move up, keep the space between you and the vehicle in front of you so you can see the tires making clear contact with the pavement. There's a fairly big gap here. Actually, there's a huge gap here, so we're all going. Still the gap, I'm proceeding straight out into the intersection looking where I want to go. No pedestrians, right there, put my right signal on, keep my signal on, and I start accelerating. I move across to the right-hand lane, and I move across again. And actually what we're gonna try and do the next time we come around, there's a laneway actually back there. We're gonna try and hit that laneway, and that will give you a more, uh, concise or shorter time that you have to merge across those uh, three lanes of traffic to get across to that right hand turn. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and get into that earlier lane. So we're going to do this one more time for you. Make the left hand turn and then make the immediate right hand turn after we get across three lanes of traffic because there's a fair bit of gap between this laneway that I'm currently using. There's about a block whereas the other one's only got about half a block and that might answer your question better about actually getting in there. So we'll go around the block again and we'll do it again for you. Turning left at the complex intersection and merging right immediately, take three. This is the third attempt at this and perhaps we can have something a little more complicated at this time for you. And again, we stop as you can see in the dash cam here so we can see the tires of the Volkswagen in front of us making clear contact with the pavement. And we got our signal on, both hands on our 
steering wheel. We're watching the traffic behind us in the center mirror here. The vehicle came up and stopped, so we didn't have to move forward. That's why we stopped back, so we can see the tires making clear contact with the pavement. We watched the vehicles coming up behind us, and it's a defensive driving move. If that vehicle isn't going to stop, then we can move forward, or we can drive out around that vehicle without having to back up. And oftentimes that can prevent you from getting rear-ended if that if you see that car not coming. So again, we have a big gap. Cars are going slowly. They're trying to look out past the oncoming lane. That's why they're slowing down here. And we simply we have a huge gap here. And again, apex of the turn, put your right signal on, shoulder check, moving over, shoulder checking, shoulder checking, and we move into the lane. And actually that went fairly swimmingly because there wasn't any traffic but with your signal on and you're slowing down and maintaining your speed appropriate to being able to get over to that right hand side that's another thing is, is that you have to observe and have space management so that you can move over to the right but most importantly you have to communicate so at the halfway point of making your left hand turn is when you put your right hand signal on and then you shoulder check and shoulder check effectively and start moving over to the right and leave your signal on the whole time that you're moving across to the right hand side. Quick review of turning left and then immediately turning right. So you get in the turning lane, if there is a turning lane, put your left hand signal on at the apex of the turn. So when you're halfway around making your left hand turn after you determine that there's a safe gap and that you can go, you need to put your right hand signal on at the apex of the turn. That way traffic behind you knows that you're going to be moving over to the right hand side of the roadway. And shoulder check, you probably need to shoulder check twice to the right to ensure that there, aren't tra there isn't traffic over there that you need to watch out for or to adjust your speed in order to either get in front of them or get behind them because there may be right hand turn vehicles coming in on that inside lane or on the middle lane because a lot of people don't go into the inside lane when they're making a left hand turn they're going to go into that middle lane and they're going to cut out so you put your right hand signal on communicate to them and then shoulder check and observe effectively that they're going to wait for you because you've got your signal on you've asked them nicely <laughs> that you're going to move over to the right and then depending on how far the lane is that you're trying to turn right into or the roadway from the left hand turn you'll need to adjust your speed accordingly so you can get over and make that right hand turn but leave your signal on the entire time that you're merging across either one lane or two lanes do not turn it on and then turn it off as you move across lanes. Just leave it on the entire time because the flashing light is going to get the attention of other road users and if uh, all working out well, which most of the time it's going to, they're going to adjust their speed and they're gonna help you out and they're gonna make a gap for you to get over to the right hand side of the roadway. For those of you on the left hand side of the roadway in Australia and the UK, yes, you're gonna move over to the left hand side of the roadway and other road users will help you out. Question for my smart drivers, do you have any tips for new drivers learning how to turn left and then immediately get over to the right hand side of the road? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers learning how to drive and working towards getting their license. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver lots of great information here as well head over to my website great information over there and online courses that you can purchase stick around to the end of the video funny bits and links to the other videos and to my website thanks again for watching good luck on your road test and remember pick the best answer not necessarily the right answer have a great day bye now I have a YouTube channel. Pardon? I have a YouTube channel. Oh. I teach people how to drive. Oh, I see. I don't know whether it's working. Well, you are looking lovely today.